The new TID Radio TDH3, that's what's coming up next on El Cara Ham Radio. Hello folks, this is Chris, KY4CKP. Well, this week on the bench, we've got a radio from TID Radio. They were kind enough to send us the recent version of the TDH3 Ham Edition. They do have a GMRS version of the TDH3, so if you really do want the Ham Edition, make sure it says that. And so here we're just uh, doing a quick unboxing of the components. Uh, it's a, a, a kind of typical but nice little kit. You get the radio, a battery, uh, you get a lanyard, you get a standard kind of a uh, rubber duck antenna. Uh, but one of the things that's nice about, I think a lot of the newer radios, and TID Radio was certainly smart about this, is uh, it's all USB-C. So charging the battery is USB-C. Programming the radio, uh, if you're going to program directly from a computer, is USB-C. Uh, and it also has built-in Bluetooth. So you can program, say, from your phone with the OD Master app uh, straight to the radio, as we'll demonstrate a little bit later in this video. So it's a, it's a nice little kit. You can, of course, get upgraded antennas for it, like many radios, and it also has uh, the belt clip, of course. So it seems like a pretty nice radio, pretty nice build quality. Uh, it feels good in your hand. Uh, it's not uh, super creaky or flexible like like some radios uh, of the past uh, have been. Uh, again, everything's USB-C. So it's a nice, reasonably modern radio. has a color screen, as uh, we'll also be seeing here coming up. Uh, so uh, it was nice to, uh, to get uh, a unit to uh, do some testing on. In fact, uh, we're going to be using this at our uh, yearly gravel rally race that we're going to be working with uh, here, uh, in fact, um, uh, this weekend, uh, tomorrow, and see how it does actually in the field, doing some things. We did some quick testing um, here at our uh, HQ, and uh, and that was fine, but uh, we want to uh, put it in some field testing and maybe try to also do some more testing on some other equipment. But we'll show some testing on some of the bench equipment here in a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, it seems like a decent radio, decent, reasonably modern radio. Again, nice to see folks moving more and more to USB-C for charging and computer communications and all those kinds of things. So there you got a good look at everything that's in the bag. You get a USB cable. Here we're just demonstrating with a little portable power pack, you can charge the battery directly. Whether it's on the, uh, you know, installed into the radio or just uh, by itself. And it has a charge indicator light right there. This battery was already fully charged, but just wanted to show that. And there's the USB connection on the radio itself, along with a headset connection. Uh, if you do want to program straight from your computer with the OD Master app. Now, if you're using a OD Master app on your computer, make sure you're using the Chrome um, browser. So here we're just running through some of the menus doing some manual programming. We're going to show some Bluetooth-based programming in a, in a little bit as well. One of the things we noticed, and we've got a short clip coming up, uh, the speaker on the radio seems quite nice. Uh, good volume to it. Uh, we didn't have the radio turned up that loudly, uh, although we did turn it up. We did do some testing on the uh, FM radio reception, which we can't really show here. But we had it turned up pretty loud for that. And, you know, it's not audio fidelity quality, but uh, it's definitely got plenty of volume. Now here we put it on the bench on our service monitor, and we wanted to check a couple of things. What is the power output on high and low settings? And also how clean is the signal? And what we found, and this is uh, testing two meters, what we found is the signal is actually quite clean. You can see uh, 146280094. Uh, it's really a quite clean signal and on two meters high level the power output is rated 5 watts we were getting a little bit over 5 watts 5.1 5.2 so uh, definitely meeting the advertised uh, levels there now here we drop down to low power on two meters and it was running a little bit low on the power as you can see we were getting about 1.4 watts again still a clean signal 
which is nice to see. But a little bit low on, on low power, but a little bit uh, extra on high power. So uh, not too bad, not too bad for a, a relatively inexpensive radio like this with a decent build quality. And we're going to test uh, 70 centimeters here in just a moment as well. See what those results look like. So here we are on 70 centimeters. And again, uh, the signal was actually quite clean. Uh, the power output on high was actually very high, almost 6 watts, 5.7 and 5.8. Uh, again, nice clean signal on 70 centimeters, so it's, it's good to see there's not any major problems there. On this unit at least, and plenty of power coming out of high power. And then we also tested low power. Now on 70 centimeters with low power, it was really close. It's rated 2 watts and we were getting 1.9. So it's really close on low power for 70 centimeters, uh, way above its rating on 70 centimeters on high, a little bit above on 2 meters on high, and just a little bit low on 2 meters uh, on low. So pretty good power output overall. Uh, it's pretty close to its rated settings. Okay, Wyatt, for CKP testing. Time is 3.35 p.m. Good afternoon. N 4 L C A repeater system. Here we're doing a little bit of testing. KY4 CKP testing radio on the repeater. Uh, is anybody copying me uh, at the current time? For CKP, this is KF9ZJ. Do you copy? KF9ZJ. Okay. Yes, I copy you uh, pretty decently on this little handy talkie. This is the TID Radio H3. Uh, their newest generation, they sent it to us to test, and we just wanted to uh, get a quick uh, copy on it. It's another play, play toy to mess around with. You can bring that to the next meeting. So as you can see with that quick little test, that volume was not actually turned up very high at all. Uh, probably less than a third overall volume. Uh, it has a good, good, decent output on the speaker, decently clear. Uh, of course, sitting inside with that little antenna, we didn't have the cleanest of signals, but good copy both directions. Now here we're showing uh, the programming a little bit. Uh, you can, of course, directly program on the radio. We kind of saw uh, mashing some of the buttons a little bit earlier here in the video. But here we're using the OD Master app, and again, you can program, and it does have built-in Bluetooth, so you can program right from your phone. Uh, again, we're going to kind of be showing that. But here, uh, Brian KY4BDP is just showing, just putting in some numbers. So since we want to use this for the uh, the gravel rally that we're going to be working on this weekend, uh, he's just putting in some of the frequencies that we're going to use for that. So we've got some simplex frequencies, and we've got a 70 centimeter, uh, some 2 meter simplex, and a 70 centimeter uh, for the uh, race control. So um, since he wanted to demonstrate programming the radio anyway, he went ahead and just put those in. And we use uh, a tone on that, uh, just one of the available tones, uh, 250.3. And he just left uh, left the radio on high power. Uh, we're going to be out in uh, in remote areas in the hills and valleys, and uh, having uh, having on remote power is uh, is probably the best way to go uh, for that. So he's just running uh, through a few of the settings, setting up the tones on each one of those uh, simplex frequencies that are available in our area. And then he's going to demonstrate um, uploading uh, to the radio itself. And we'll also see uh, see the radio and the software uploading as well. But it's, uh, it's nice that, again, these newer radios, they have USB-C and built-in Bluetooth. Uh, you know, this is not a real expensive radio. It, it's a, it seems like it's a decent build quality. Speaker is, is, has nice volume to it. And it's got built-in Bluetooth. And, uh, and so they're doing, you know, some of these companies, TID Radio and, and so forth, they're doing a really good job putting out a very nice product at a good price point. Uh, you know, we, we, we all know the kinds of, of cheap, inexpensive radios that have been around for many years. Uh, but these, these uh, not, you know, real expensive radios have really... You know, they really have upped the game, and, uh, and I, it seems like it's a, it's a good, decent product. Uh, you know, this is not, not something that we would have to be terribly uh, embarrassed uh, to have by any means at all. So Brian's uh, finishing up some of the, uh, the programming, just putting in some, uh, some sort of names for some of those channels that he's going to program. He's going to give this uh, template a name, 
You can see Mercury uh, Gravel Rally there. Uh, and then he's going to um, start the program update here in just a moment. So you can save out templates. Uh, and this is one of the nice things with some of the different programming software for our radios. You can have these various templates. So depending about you know on what you're about to do, you can throw a template on there real quick and have your programming pre-done. If you're about to go on a trip, you could pre-program uh, the uh, uh, repeaters and things along the route, all that kind of stuff. So... Again, he's getting everything set up, and he's going to kick off the programming. and uh, And it doesn't take very long to uh, write, you know, write the new template uh, to the radio. All right, so we see the uh, program write to the radio kick off, and it's uploading from the um, computer there. And you can see it's going right up on to the radio itself with the uh, inset, and that easy you can program in your channels your memory slots and again you can have multiple templates that you have created for multiple different uses so again programming is pretty much that easy so folks we're going to start wrapping this one up uh the tid td h3 ham edition again make sure you get the ham edition they do have a gmrs edition so make sure you get the right edition uh seems like a nice decent radio color screen a good volume on the speaker, uh, surprising volume on that speaker, uh, and uh, seems decent so far. Again, it feels like decent quality in your hand, uh, you know, USB-C, built-in Bluetooth, and a decent price point. So we're going to use this one a little bit more, but that'll wrap this one up. This is Chris, KY4CKP for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio 73.